Welcome to Master Math. Here's a couple of tips to help you get the most out of these lessons. First of all, they're free. So you can watch it as many times as you need to understand the concept. Secondly, if I cover something and it's confusing to you still, hit your back button and look at it again. And third, when we come to a you try it problem, hit your pause key, try the problem on paper and pencil, and then hit your forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you enjoy yourself. Today we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing with exponents. And we'll start out easy. You know what this means. 2 squared or 2 to the second power. That means I'm going to take my 2 and multiply it by itself 2 times. It equals 2 times 2, which equals 4. What about 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed? Well, you know what that means, too. It's 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. It's 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 8. Well, let's get tricky. What if I add 2 squared times 2 cubed? 2 to the second power times 2 to the third power. How would I do that? Well, let's think about it. 2 squared equals 2 times 2. And 2 cubed equals 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 squared times 2 cubed equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times two. And that's 5 twos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it equals 32. Now that's interesting. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. And I've got 2 to the second power times 2 to the third power. If I added 2 plus 3, I end up getting 5. 5 twos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 2 squared times 2 cubed equals 2 to the 2 plus 3 power. And that equals 2 to the 5th power. And that equals 32. Well, this works with algebra as well. If I had x squared times x to the third, I'd just add my exponents. I'd add my 2 plus my 3, and my solution would be x to the fifth. But don't get confused. If I had x squared times y cubed, I can't combine my exponents because I don't have like terms. I can't combine the x and the y because I don't know what they are. So I can't add my exponents. And x squared times y cubed equals x squared y cubed. Ooh, this is cold, isn't it? Those are ice cubes. Get it? Ha ha ha. Very funny. Okay, now let's get even trickier with the math. Let's say I had x squared to the third power. What would that mean? Well, let's break it down. I've got x squared, and I know what that means. It means x multiplied by itself two times, or x times x. So I could rewrite this as x times x cubed. Now, let's break it down a little further. Cubed means I multiply my factor by itself three times. So x times x cubed would equal x times x, 1, x times x, 2, x times x, 3. It would be x times x times x times x times x times x. And how many x's do I have? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six. 
Maybe you see this. What is 2 times 3? It's 6. And x squared to the third power results in 6x's and can be simplified to x to the 6th power. x to the 6th power equals x to the 2 times 3 power. So, if I have a factor that's taken to a power and I want to raise that to another power, I simply multiply my two powers and I take this to the multiple of the two powers. How about division with exponents? How does this work? Well, let's take a look. Let's say I had x to the fifth divided by x to the third. I could rewrite that as 5x's over 3x's. It's x to the fifth, so I've got 5x's divided by x to the third, so I've got 3x's. Well, you know, if I've got 3x's in the bottom and more than 3 in the top, I can cancel out 3 at the top and cancel out the 3 at the bottom, and then I've got only 2x's left. So x to the fifth divided by x to the third equals x times x or x squared. Now did you notice I subtracted 3x's from the top. I took the 5 and subtracted 3x's from it so I ended up rewriting this x to the fifth power minus third power and 3 subtracted from 5 results in 2 x to the fifth divided by x to the third equals x squared. I subtract my two exponents when I'm dividing. Well, sometimes it gets even trickier. What about this one? I've got x to the fifth times y to the fourth all divided by x to the third times y to the second. How do I deal with that? Well, the first thing i got to remember is I can only deal with like terms. I've got two x's. I've got an x here and an x here. And I could deal with those x's. And I've got a y here and a y there. And I can, uh, I can combine those like terms. So that's what I'll do. Let me rewrite x to the fifth times y to the fourth over x to the third times y to the second. It would look like that. I'd have five x's and four y's on the top and I'd have three x's and two y's on the bottom. Now I could combine some of those x's and maybe simplify it. Let's see I've got three on the bottom and five on the top. I could I could subtract the three on the bottom from the five on the top and it would leave only two x's left. Now how about my y's? I've got two on the bottom and four on the top. I could subtract the two on the bottom from the four on the top and leave just two y's. Now I've got xxyy or x squared y squared. x to the fifth y to the fourth divided by x to the third y to the second would be x to the fifth divided by x to the third or x to the five minus three times y to the fourth divided by y to the second or y to the fourth minus second which is x squared y squared. Oh, that's the recess bell. Everybody take a break. You can go get some water if you want, or you could try to figure out how much my rent check to the landlord was worth.
Well, I'm not sure I gave you enough time to solve this check problem. But if you haven't solved it and want to keep working on it, hit your pause button. And then when you get done, you can hit your forward key and move on to uh, my answer. Oop! Recess bell rang. It's the end of recess. We're going to have to move on. But this check was worth $583.86. Now we're going to move to a you try it problem. When you get to the next slide, hit your pause key, try the problem, and then when you get done, hit your forward key to move on to the answer. I hope this one was easy for you. I've got x to the 15th divided by x to the 11th. If I'm dividing like terms that are both raised to, this, to a, a power, all I do is subtract the two like terms. x to the 15th divided by x to the 11th would equal x to the 15th div minus 11th or x to the 4th. This one's kind of tricky. What you've got to remember is that you can only combine like terms. And you take each of your like terms and do your operant, do your operation on it. So I take my 6 and I divide it by 3. And then I take my a to the 8th and divide it by a. And then I take my b to the 5th and divide it by b. And then I combine all those and that would be my answer. So, it's 6 divided by 3 times a to the 8th minus a single a. So, it's a to the 8th minus 1. And then, times b to the 5th divided by b, or b to the 5 minus 1. And that simplifies to 2a to the 7th, b to the 4th. Well, I have to remember the order of operations to do this problem correctly. I need to remember that I have to deal with my parentheses first, my exponents next, multiplication next, division next, and then addition and subtraction last. So, parentheses. Well, that probably tells me that I should look at the two figures within the parentheses first. But there's no simplification I can do to that one. x to the fifth is x to the fifth. I can't simplify it. So let's move on to my next parentheses. I've got x squared times x to the third. And that would be x to the 2 plus 3 power, or x to the 5th. Now, I've got to do my exponents. x to the 5th to the 3rd power would be x to the 5th times 3 power, or x to the 15th power. Well, now I've got x to the 15th divided by x to the 5th. And my when I divide variables taken to a power, I subtract the two variables. So this would read x to the fifth times third divided by x to the two plus three. And that equals x to the fifteenth divided by x to the fifth. And then I'd subtract my two powers. It would be x to the 15th minus 5th, which equals x to the 10th power. Well, that's our lesson on multiplying and dividing with exponents. I hope you learned a lot. Now it's time to test your knowledge. Go to www.mastermath.info and download the worksheet on multiplying and dividing with exponents. Then go back to Master Math and try the quiz on multiplying and dividing exponents. 
I hope you learned a lot and had a decent time, and I hope I see you again real soon.